This day in history 5th of March. Alessandro Volta, born February 18, 1745, Como, Lombardy, Italy, died March 5, 1827, Como, Italian physicist whose invention of the electric battery provided the first source of continuous current, was an Italian physicist and chemist who was a pioneer of electricity and power and is credited as the inventor of the electric battery and the discoverer of methane. He invented the voltaic pile in 1799 and reported the results of his experiments in 1800 in a two-part letter to the president of the Royal Society. With this invention, Volta proved that electricity could be generated chemically and debunked the prevalent theory that electricity was generated solely by living beings. Volta's invention sparked a great amount of scientific excitement and led others to conduct similar experiments, which eventually led to the development of the field of electrochemistry. Volta also drew admiration from Napoleon Bonaparte for his invention and was invited to the Institute of France to demonstrate his invention to the members of the Institute. Throughout his life, Volta enjoyed a certain amount of closeness with the emperor who conferred upon him numerous honors. Volta held the chair of experimental physics at the University of Pavia for nearly 40 years and was widely idolized by his students. Despite his professional success, Volta was inclined towards domestic life, and this was more apparent in his later years when he tended to live secluded from public life and more for the sake of his family. He died in 1827 from a series of illnesses which began in 1823. The SI unit of electric potential is named the Volt in his honor. This day in history 5th of March. This day in history 5th of March. Pierre Simon, Marquis de Laplace, born March 23, 1749, Beaumont en Normandy, France, died March 5, 1827, Paris, French mathematician, astronomer, and physicist who is best known for his investigations into the stability of the solar system. Laplace successfully accounted for all the observed deviations of the planets from their theoretical orbits by applying Sir Isaac Newton's theory of gravitation to the solar system. He summarized and extended the work of his predecessors in his five-volume Mechanique Celeste, Celestial Mechanics, 1799-1825. This work translated the geometric study of classical mechanics to one based on calculus, opening up a broader range of problems. In statistics, the Bayesian interpretation of probability was developed mainly by Laplace. Laplace formulated Laplace's equation and pioneered the Laplace transform which appears in many branches of mathematical physics, a field that he took a leading role in forming. The Laplacian differential operator, widely used in mathematics, is also named after him. He restated and developed the nebular hypothesis of the origin of the solar system and was one of the first scientists to suggest an idea similar to that of a black hole with Stephen Hawking stating that Laplace essentially predicted the existence of black holes. Laplace is regarded as one of the greatest scientists of all time. Sometimes referred to as the French Newton or Newton of France, he has been described as possessing a phenomenal natural mathematical faculty superior to that of almost all of his contemporaries. This day in history 5th of March. This day in history 6th of March. Valentina Tereshkova. Born March 6, 1937, Maslenikovo, Russia, USSR Soviet cosmonaut, the first woman to travel into space. On June 16, 1963, she was launched in the spacecraft Vostok 6, which completed 48 orbits in 71 hours. She was the youngest woman to fly in space until 2023 when Anastasia Mayers flew on Galactic 02 at the age of 18. Since Mayers flew a suborbital mission, Tereshkova remains the youngest woman to fly in Earth orbit. Before her selection for the Soviet space program, Tereshkova was a textile factory worker and an amateur skydiver. She joined the Air Force as part of the cosmonaut corps and was commissioned as an officer after completing her training. After the dissolution of the first group of female cosmonauts in 1969, Tereshkova remained in the space program as a cosmonaut instructor. She later graduated from the Zukovsky Air Force Engineering Academy and requalified for spaceflight, but never went to space again. She retired from the Air Force in 1997 having attained the rank of Major General. Tereshkova was a prominent member of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union, 
holding various political offices including being a member of the Presidium of the Supreme Soviet from 1974 to 1989. She remained politically active following the collapse of the Soviet Union, but twice lost elections to the National State Duma in 1995 and 2003. Tereshkova was later elected in 2008 to her regional parliament, the Yaroslavl Oblast Duma. In 2011, she was elected to the National State Duma as a member of the ruling United Russia Party, and was re-elected in 2016 and 2021. She has the Federal State Civilian Service rank of First Class Active State Counselor of the Russian Federation. In 2022, she voted for the Russian invasion of Ukraine, which led to numerous Western sanctions against her. This day in history 6th of March. This day in history 6th of March. Gordon Cooper born March 6, 1927, in Shawnee, Oklahoma, U.S. Died October 4, 2004 in Ventura, California. Cooper was one of the original team of seven U.S. astronauts. On May 15 to 16, 1963, he circled Earth 22 times in the space capsule Faith 7, completing the sixth and last of the Mercury crewed space flights. The youngest of the seven original astronauts in Project Mercury, the first human space program of the United States. Cooper learned to fly as a child, and after service in the United States Marine Corps during World War II, he was commissioned into the United States Air Force in 1949. After serving as a fighter pilot, he qualified as a test pilot in 1956 and was selected as an astronaut in 1959. In 1963 Cooper piloted the longest and last Mercury spaceflight, Mercury Atlas 9. During that 34-hour mission, he became the first American to spend an entire day in space, the first to sleep in space, and the last American to launch on an entirely solo orbital mission. Despite a series of severe equipment failures, he managed to successfully complete the mission under manual control, guiding his spacecraft, which he named Faith 7, to a splashdown just 4 miles, 6.4 kilometers, ahead of the recovery ship. Cooper became the first astronaut to make a second orbital flight when he flew as command pilot of Gemini 5 in 1965. Along with pilot Pete Conrad, he set a new space endurance record by traveling 3,312,993 miles, 5,331,745 kilometers, in 190 hours and 56 minutes, just short of eight days showing that astronauts could survive in space for the length of time necessary to go from the Earth to the Moon and back. Cooper liked to race cars and boats and entered the $28,000 Salton City 500 miles, 800 kilometers, boat race, and the Southwest Championship drag boat races in 1965, and the 1967 Orange Bowl regatta with firefighter Red Adair. In 1968, he entered the 24 Hours of Daytona, but NASA management ordered him to withdraw due to the dangers involved. After serving as backup commander of the Apollo 10 mission, he was superseded by Alan Shepard. He retired from NASA and the Air Force with the rank of colonel in 1970. This day in history 6th of March. This day in history 7th of March. Sir John Herschel, 1st Baronet, born March 7, 1792, SLU, Buckinghamshire, England died May 11, 1871, Collingwood, Kent, English astronomer and successor to his father, Sir William Herschel, was an English polymath active as a mathematician, astronomer, chemist, inventor, and experimental photographer who invented the blueprint and did botanical work. Herschel originated the use of the Julian Day system in astronomy. He named seven moons of Saturn and four moons of Uranus, the seventh planet discovered by his father Sir William Herschel. He made many contributions to the science of photography and investigated color blindness and the chemical power of ultraviolet rays. His preliminary discourse, 1831, which advocated an inductive approach to scientific experiment and theory building, was an important contribution to the philosophy of science. He left Cambridge in 1816 and started working with his father, he took up astronomy in 1816, building a reflecting telescope with a mirror 18 inches, 460 millimeters, 
in diameter, and with a 20-foot, 6.1 meters, focal length. Between 1821 and 1823 he re-examined, with James South, the double stars catalogued by his father. He was one of the founders of the Royal Astronomical Society in 1820. For his work with his father, he was presented with the gold medal of the Royal Astronomical Society in 1826, which he won again in 1836, and with the Lalande Medal of the French Academy of Sciences in 1825. This Day in History 7th of March This Day in History 7th of March Johann Bayer, born 1572, Rain, Bavaria, Germany, died March 7, 1625, Augsburg, Germany, German astronomer whose book Uranometria, 1603, promulgated a system of identifying all stars visible to the naked eye. In 1592 he began his study of philosophy and law at the University of Ingolstadt, after which he moved to Augsburg to begin work as a lawyer, becoming legal advisor to the city council in 1612. Bayer had several interests outside his work, including archaeology and mathematics. However, he is primarily known for his work in astronomy, particularly for his work on determining the positions of objects on the celestial sphere. Bayer's star atlas Uranometria Omnium Asterism Morum Uranometry of all the asterisms was first published in 1603 in Augsburg and dedicated to two prominent local citizens. This was the first atlas to cover the entire celestial sphere. It was based upon the work of Tycho Brahe and may have borrowed from Alessandro Piccolomini's 1540 star atlas, the Lustelfis of the fixed stars although Bayer included an additional 1,000 stars. The Uranometria introduced a new system of star designation which has become known as the Bayer designation. Bayer's atlas included 12 new constellations invented a few years earlier to fill in the far south of the night sky, which was unknown to ancient Greece and Rome. The crater Bayer on the moon is named after him. This day in history 7th of March. This day in history 8th of March. Otto Hahn, born March 8, 1879, Frankfurt. Died July 28, 1968, Göttingen, German chemist with the radiochemist Fritz Strassmann, is credited with the discovery of nuclear fission. He was awarded the Nobel Prize for Chemistry in 1944. Pioneer in the fields of radioactivity and radiochemistry. He is referred to as the father of nuclear chemistry and the father of nuclear fission. Hahn and Lisa Meitner discovered radioactive isotopes of radium, thorium, protactinium, and uranium. He also discovered the phenomena of atomic recoil and nuclear isomerism and pioneered rubidium strontium dating. In 1938, Hahn, Lisa Meitner, and Fritz Strassmann discovered nuclear fission, for which Hahn received the 1944 Nobel Prize for Chemistry. Nuclear fission was the basis for nuclear reactors and nuclear weapons. A graduate of the University of Marburg, which awarded him a doctorate in 1901. Hahn studied under Sir William Ramsey at University College London and at McGill University in Montreal under Ernest Rutherford, where he discovered several new radioactive isotopes. He returned to Germany in 1906. Emil Fischer placed a former woodworking shop in the basement of the Chemical Institute at the University of Berlin at his disposal to use as a laboratory. Hahn completed his habilitation in the spring of 1907 and became a private dozen. In 1912, he became head of the radioactivity department of the newly founded Kaiser Wilhelm Institute for Chemistry. Working with the Austrian physicist Lisa Meitner in the building that now bears their names, he made a series of groundbreaking discoveries, culminating with her isolation of the longest-lived isotope of protactinium in 1918. During World War I he served with a Landwehr regiment on the Western Front, and with the Chemical Warfare Unit headed by Fritz Haber on the Western, Eastern, and Italian Fronts, earning the Iron Cross, second class, for his part in the First Battle of Ypres. After the war, he became the head of the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute for Chemistry, while remaining in charge of his own department. Between 1934 and 1938, he worked with Strassmann and Meitner on the study of isotopes created through the neutron bombardment of uranium and thorium, which led to the discovery of nuclear fission. He was an opponent of National Socialism and the persecution of Jews by the Nazi Party caused the removal of many of his colleagues, including Meitner, who was forced to flee Germany in 1938. During World War II, 
he worked on the German nuclear weapons program, cataloging the fission products of uranium. As a consequence, at the end of the war, he was arrested by the Allied forces, he was incarcerated in Farm Hall with nine other German scientists, from July 1945 to January 1946. Hahn served as the last president of the Kaiser Wilhelm Society for the Advancement of Science in 1946 and as the founding president of its successor, the Max Planck Society from 1948 to 1960. In 1959 he co-founded in Berlin the Federation of German Scientists, a non-governmental organization, which has been committed to the ideal of responsible science. As he worked to rebuild German science, he became one of the most influential and respected citizens of post-war West Germany. This Day in History 8th of March This Day in History 9th of March Carrie Hume, born March 9, 1947, Christchurch, New Zealand, died December 27, 2021. Ymate was a New Zealand novelist, poet, and short story writer, chiefly known for her first novel, The Bone People, 1983, which won the Booker Prize in 1985. She was the first New Zealander to win the award and also the first writer to win the prize for a debut novel. Hume's writing explores themes of isolation, post-colonial and multicultural identity, and Maori, Celtic, and Norse mythology. Early Yars Hume was born on March 9, 1947 in Burwood Hospital, Christchurch, New Zealand. The daughter of John William Hume, a carpenter, and Marion Miller, a credit manager, she was the eldest of six children. Her father was a first-generation New Zealander whose parents were from Lancashire, England, and her mother came from Oamaru, of Orkney Scots. Hume grew up in Christchurch at 160 Lever Terrace, New Brighton, where she attended North New Brighton Primary School and Aranui High School. She described herself as a very definite and determined child when she was 11. Her father died. Hume remembered herself as being interested in writing from a young age. She rewrote Enid Blyton's stories the way she thought they should have been written, wrote poetry from the age of twelve, and composed short stories. Her mother organized the side front porch into a study for her after her father's death. Some of her poems and short stories were published in Aranui High School's magazine. This Day in History 9th of March This Day in History 9th of March Vita Sackville West, born March 9th, 1892, Kent, England died June 2, 1962. Sissinghurst Castle, Kent, was an English novelist and poet who wrote chiefly about the Kentish countryside, where she spent most of her life. Sackville West was a successful novelist, poet, and journalist, as well as a prolific letter writer and diarist. She published more than a dozen collections of poetry and 13 novels during her life. She was twice awarded the Hawthornden Prize for Imaginative Literature, in 1927 for her pastoral epic, The Land, and in 1933 for her collected poems. She was the inspiration for the protagonist of Orlando, a biography, by her friend and lover Virginia Woolf. She wrote a column in The Observer from 1946 to 1961 and is remembered for the celebrated garden at Sissinghurst in Kent, created with her husband, Sir Harold Nicholson. This day in history 9th of March. This day in history 10th of March. Olivia Wilde, born March 10, 1984, in New York City, New York, U.S. American actress, director, and screenwriter who first gained fame in front of the camera, known for her performances on both television and film. She played Remy, 13, Hadley on the medical drama television series House, 2007-2012, and has appeared in the films Tron, Legacy, 2010. Cowboys and Aliens, 2011, The Incredible Burt Wonderstone, 2013, and The Lazarus Effect, 2015. Wilde made her Broadway debut in 2017, playing Julia in 1984. Wilde's first directorial, the teen comedy book Smart, 2019, won her the Independent Spirit Award for Best First Feature. Her second feature as director, the thriller Don't Worry Darling, was released in 2022. Wilde was born Olivia Jane Cockburn in New York City on March 10, 1984. She grew up in the Georgetown neighborhood of Washington, D.C. 
while spending summers at Ardmore in Ireland. She attended Georgetown Day School in Washington, D.C., and Phillips Academy in Andover, Massachusetts, graduating in 2002. Wilde derived her surname from Irish author Oscar Wilde and started using it while in high school to honor the writers in her family, many of whom used pen names. She was accepted to Bard College but deferred her enrollment three times in order to pursue acting. She then studied at the Gaiety School of Acting in Dublin. For a short time, Wilde's family also had a house in Guilford, Vermont. Wilde has a sister five years older and a brother nine years younger. Her father, Andrew Cockburn, is a British journalist. He was born in the London suburb of Wilsdon and raised in Ireland. Her mother, Leslie Cockburn, is an American producer on 60 Minutes and a journalist. This Day in History 10th of March This Day in History 11th of March Malcolm Campbell, born March 11, 1885, Childhurst, Kent, England, died December 31, 1948, Rygate, Surrey, was a British automobile racing driver who set world speed records on land and water. At various times, using vehicles called Blue Bird, including a 1921 Grand Prix Sunbeam. His son, Donald Campbell, carried on the family tradition by holding both land speed and water speed records. Campbell was born on March 11, 1885, in Childhurst, Kent, the only son of William Campbell, a Hatton Garden diamond seller. He attended the independent Uppingham School. In Germany, learning the diamond trade, he gained an interest in motorbikes and races. Returning to Britain, he worked for two years at Lloyd's of London for no pay, then for another year at one pound a week. Between 1906 and 1908, he won all three London to Lands and Trials motorcycle races. In 1910, he began racing cars at Brooklands. He christened his car Blue Bird, painting it blue after seeing the play The Blue Bird by Maurice Maeterlinck at the Haymarket Theatre. Campbell married Marjorie Dagmer not in 1913, but they divorced two years later. Campbell then married Dorothy Evelyn Whittall in 1920. Their son Donald was born in 1921, and their daughter, Jean, in 1923. Dorothy, who became Lady Campbell when he was knighted in 1931, later described him as quite unfitted for the role of husband and family man. They divorced in 1940. Campbell married Betty Nicory in 1945 in Chelsea. Campbell wrote several motoring mystery novels including Salute to the Gods which was the source material for the 1939 motion picture Burn M. Up O'Connor. This Day in History 11th of March